apologies for starting uh, about five minutes late here. So it's 7.35. I'll call the meeting to order. Councilor Lee? Present. Councilor Kirkini? Present. Supervisor Keeney? Present. Councilwoman Lukacek? Present. Councilwoman Martin? Yes. Councilwoman Selby, will you please lead us in the public meetings? Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, tonight we do not have any other preliminary matters under uh, item number one tonight, so we move on to item number two, which is regular business. Uh, the first item is the correction and adoption of the minutes from the uh, for the uh, uh, August uh, 18, 2021 uh, town board meeting. Councilman Lukja. Uh, thank you, Mr. Supervisor. I've had an opportunity to review the um, board meeting minutes for August 18th, and I make a uh, motion to approve. I'll second. Councilman Tilly? Yes. Councilman Kirk Keeney? Yes. Supervisor Keeney? Yes. Councilman Lukja? Yes. Motion carried. Okay, item number two under new business is uh, the consideration of all fund bills. Council on the so they get out tonight. Thank you, Mr. Supervisor. Upon review of all the fund bills, I'd like to make a motion to make payment of $23,953.48. Second. Councilwoman Selby? Yes. Councilman Kerry Keating? Yes. Supervisor Keating? Yes. Councilwoman Lukicek? Yes. Motion carried. Okay, moving right along. Uh, we have two items of correspondence tonight. The first item is the Agricultural District Annual Enrollment Period. Uh, that has been received and filed. And then also item number two is the Comp Alliance Member Loyalty Awards Notification. Uh, and that has been received and filed. Item number uh, four is new business. Uh, item number one is requests from the board. So uh, I will open up the floor for any public comment. Uh, if you come up to the microphone, I uh, kindly ask uh, that you state your name, uh, address, and then you have three, three minutes uh, for, for discussion for first. The floor is open. Uh, Richard Hawkins, 6892 Pin Oak Drive. I just want to thank the board for the uh, excellent concert series that was put on this year. Uh, last night was the last night for the concert series. I think it was probably one of the best concerts that we've had all year long last night and stuff. It was a good crowd. Everybody enjoyed themselves and stuff, and I just wanted to thank the board for the, for the excellent job. Uh, Yes. Supervisor Keating? Yes. Councilman Yes. Motion carried. 
Okay, moving right along. Item number four is resolution 2021-50, which is a uh, financial advisory for professional services agreement. And Council Member Lipchick, would you like to take that item tonight? Yes, Mr. Supervisor. So in reviewing this uh, resolution 2021-50, um, it's ordered to proceed with the debt issuances and do so on the terms most financially advantageous to the town. So we're gonna benefit from retaining an experienced municipal financial advisor um, to provide strategic advice, preparation of necessary financing documents and other related uh, professional services as it relates to this, um, the debt issuances. So I make a motion that we uh, approve resolution number 2021-50. All second. Councilman Selby. Yes. Councilman Gretkini. Yes. Supervisor Keating. Yes. Councilman Richard. Yes. Motion carried. I just, I just wanted to add um, on that particular item for those, um, the financial advisor, that is for, uh, we, we discussed water projects for the three water towers in the town, and because of the dollar amount of those bondings, um, it, it's actually requiring to have uh, financial advisory uh, and consultation to the town, so that, that's essentially what that, what that service would be, uh, the professional service would be used for, uh, for the town. So item number five is resolution 2021-51, requesting a traffic study for a four-way stop sign address traffic safety concerns at the intersection of Fettick and Zimmerman Road. And Councilman Cardini, go take that out. Thank you, Supervisor Keating. At this time, I would like to propose um, a motion on resolution 2021-51, which is a traffic study request at the intersection of Fettick and Zimmerman Roads uh, to be conducted by the Erie County Public Department of Public Works. Um, will conduct the traffic study. I'll second. Councilman Selby? Yes. Councilman Tredekini? Yes. Supervisor Keating? Yes. Councilman Lumberjee? Yes. Motion carried. Okay. Last item, number six under new business tonight is resolution 2021-52 for easement agreement for ingress and egress at located at 5451 Creekside Court. And Councilman Lumberjee, would you look at the head? Yes, Mr. Supervisor. Um, so the owner of this uh, 5451 Creekside Court requested that the town of Boston grant an easement for the ingress and egress to the property as the actual existing driveway for that property is on the town's um, property anyways, and outside the area of an existing easement that the town granted in 1989. Um, after re extensive review of the uh, information and the easement, um, agreement. I make a motion we approve resolution number 2021-52. Yeah, I'll second. Councilman Selby? Yes. Councilman Harry Keating? Yes. Supervisor Keating? Yes. Councilman Lynch? Yes. Motion carried. Okay, that is all for new business tonight. Uh, there is no old business, so we'll, we'll move on to reports and presentations. How you superintendent? You have the floor, sir. Yes, thank you. Uh, today was September 1st, brush pickup started today. We'll do every road one time in September, then again once again in October 1st, we'll do every road once in October. So get your brush out and we'll be around to pick it up. We're gonna have a lot of wood chips, so anybody in town looking for wood chips, a lot of sheep, you can get wood chips. We have quite a bit of fill down at the highway department, so anybody looking for fill, fill a lot of sheep, we got fill. Other than that, the last few weeks, uh, the highway workers, we were working up on Eddy Road, replacing a, a culvert pipe underneath Eddy Road. We, we sleeved it with a four foot pipe. Um, it was one of the jobs where the town engineer gave us a price of $440,000 to fix. For the highway department, we fixed it for less than $4,000. So it worked out great. Other than that, that's all I have tonight. All right, thank you very much. And Councilman Selby, you have the floor. Thank you, Mr. Supervisor. I just want to wish all the young families and kids good luck going back to school next week. Hopefully, it will be a successful year. It will be a challenge. Um, we're gearing up at the school. It's getting ready. Our guys are working really hard. Our teachers are training. And um, I just hope it's a safe and successful year. I don't have anything else to report. Thanks. All right. Thank you very much. Councilman Eric Keeney, you have the floor. Thank you, Supervisor Keating. Uh, our Boston Colton Chiefs meeting was postponed. Uh, I do not have a another date yet. It has not been scheduled, but I'll be happy to report that once it is. And I'd like to take the opportunity to thank uh, 
Allison Kozier, our event coordinator for the town of Austin, on you know doing a fantastic job at the summer concert series this year in a very challenging and uncertain environment. Uh, I, I think everybody was very glad to see those events happen again, and it, it's no small doing to organize bands in such a short time span to do it. Normally, that's why we're doing this uh, this application for use for 2022. It's important that if you want great bands and you want you know good activities for residents, that you plan ahead, and that's what she's doing with that. Uh, but she did a great job in, a, in a, like I said, an uncertain environment. Uh, the public seemed very pleased with that, and uh, I'd like to recognize her for it. That's all I have tonight. Yeah, thank you. How's the world object? The floor. Thank you, Mr. Supervisor. I just wanted to let folks know that the town's uh, zoning board of appeals um, meeting is September 2nd, tomorrow. Um, the work session starts at 7, and the uh, actual hearing uh, board of appeals will be starting at 7 15. Um, the planning board is also scheduled uh, for the second Tuesday of the month, September 14th, and that's at 7 30. And that's all I have to report. So. Thank you. Madam Clerk, you have the floor. Thank you, Mr. We had a very successful month of August for the um, hunting licenses. Um, we had over 100 customers um, come in this month. So that was, that was very good. Um, great to have everyone back. I know with last year it was a little bit slower with having the building closed. We needed to take care of people at the door. But um, the response this year has been wonderful. So. Um, to have the, the building open and um, be able to provide that service for our hunters and our fishermen. Um, I believe the last concert for the Boston Free Library is uh, tomorrow evening at 6 p.m. We've got one of the last concerts of the, of the year, of the summer season. Um, September 11th on Saturday will be the CAC's um, week event and also the um, Bread of Life and the Golden Country Health Fair will be on, on that day. So um, that is a, obviously the 20th anniversary of the attack on our country. So um, we get out and do something positive on, on that day and support um, Boston and Golden for that. Um, Boston Lions Club will be hosting the um, golf outing um, that was rained out from the previous date, so that will be September 15th. I don't know if there's any spots available, but since it was um, canceled, there may be some availability. So contact Lion Vito at 941-1955 um, if you want to play or sponsor. And um, so everyone has a safe and um, enjoyable Labor Day. However, if you decide to um, rest and relax throughout <coughs> your labors that you have, have done um, throughout the year, and also um, you know, take that time to remember all of the American workers that have built this great country. That's all I have. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I just have a couple of um, items to bring up tonight. Um, it was discussed at uh, Councilwoman Selby and I uh, brought up that the Marianne Williams, uh, she, she celebrated her 100-year birthday uh, yeah, just a few weeks ago. Uh, Tom Ward did present a proclamation uh, at her birthday party, and uh, so I, I presented that, and Legislator Mills was there. Uh, but it, i got to say, it's definitely an honor, uh, certainly a humbling experience to meet somebody that is 100 years old who has seen so much. You know, I, I mean, uh, I'm younger, but uh, to have somebody that has seen so much in the world uh, that uh, you, know, you, you, you read about and she can talk about these things and she was, God bless her, she was sharp as a tack and just a true, uh, a true pleasure to speak with um, at the time I was able to speak to her. So um, I just wanted to you know, give another shout out to her because that, that is certainly an achievement here. Um, it is budget season for the town of Boston, so uh, the bookkeeper and I have been going through and having departmental audits. Uh, more information will be coming forth uh, with that information. Uh, the, the residents of the town of Boston will see information coming up at the board meetings and also um, you know, in budget discussions. Um, the town is working with, uh, uh, in regards to some marijuana training, uh, for those of you that might not have heard, uh, but I presume some of you have, uh, marijuana, uh, there's some legislation that was passed making marijuana legal in some capacities. 
Uh, but we are working with a law firm, uh, and we're going to be hosting a training on September 29th in partnership with the three fire companies um, and board members, and then also our emergency squad, uh, discussing how some of this new legislation is going to affect fire companies, emergency squads, and then the town of Boston being a, uh, an employer in our community. So that is something we're working on. Uh, outside of that, that's all I have for tonight. Um, thank you all for coming out tonight. And with that, I will make a motion to adjourn the meeting at, uh, we'll call it 7.50. Can I add something? Oh, sure. Besides for being 100 years old, she's still driving her car. She plays golf twice a week in Springville. Yes, active member in the Springville, <laughs> yes, in the Springville League. Uh, she's really a cousin there. Yeah. Known her Just a few years? <laughs> or at least 100 years, huh? Well, 88 years. <laughs> but truly, yeah, God bless her. Uh, I, it, it, she was a true pleasure to speak to. And ironically, one of those, um, one of her family members uh, resides in Oswego, New York. And I was joking with her. I said, you know, I was born in Oswego Hospital back in the day. She's like, really? I said, oh, yeah. So we, we reminisce about Oswego, New York, too. So it was a great event. It was great to see her truly be able to be that active and walk around and socialize with people. I just. Really, in today's world, that's, that's, that's a, it's an amazing achievement. Does she shoot par? <laughs> All right, there we go. Councilman Selby? Yes. Councilman Carakini? Yes. Supervisor Keating? Yes. Councilman Lukacek? Yes.